I might have to go in there. Good morning guys, it's Wednesday and winter has come back. It's really windy, really cold and they're calling for 40 centimeters of snow. I have a funny feeling I'm gonna have a bottle strapped to me for the next 24, 48 hours to make sure all these little triplets get enough food, get enough to drink. This might be strapped to me as well. Not terrible. Oh, we're still above zero. That's awesome. Let's see how my bottle babies are doing. Oh, they're all alive. That's good. Good morning. We got it. There's the lamb that I fed yesterday. That little one there. Um, I've been trying to get it on this machine for the last two or three days. Okay, Let's see what we're in for. Hey, Mom. <laughs> There's a little baby. Oh. Oh, see, I love twins. Twins are good. When you have three, you have a middle child, and I think they're the ones that run away. I only know this because I am one. I think that might be it this morning. That would be sweet. Such a good feeling to uh, not come to the typical morning chaos. Yesterday was a crazy day by, I kind of signed off a little bit earlier on you guys, but I came out two more times last night so we ended up having another set of triplets. So we had eight sets of triplets yesterday. So that's what I mean. I'm gonna have to probably carry around, around a bottle today a lot just to make sure they all drink. Listen, stop stealing. Oh. This group has been really good for moms, but really bad for stealers. Today it's gonna be, I'm, it's gonna take me a long time again today to catch up on all the record keeping because we had 40 born yesterday. Got them put in their pen. And I'm gonna feed my quads again right now. <laughs> they all took a bottle last night, again. I am in the middle of recording these lambs and there's a lot so I've not brought you along for the absolute and complete boredom but I wanted to show you these twins. I knew they were big yesterday. I had no idea how big they were. Just a sec. Okay. Two big ram lambs. They are big. So one too. Okay, look at this. 15.6 and 15.3. Oops. Unreal. On another side note, uh, so she had, she had triplets yesterday. Two looked like this one, identical, and then this crazy little Suffolk lamb. She loves these two, beating the crap out of the third one. So I had to pull it out and I put it in the machine this morning and I gotta get it trained today. My quads are all labeled. Look how cute they are, they're so cute. So I'm gonna pull, um, I'm trying to think which ones drank. I think this one drank the best. And I think the little brown eyed one drank really good too. So I might take those two. Ah. 
Remember yesterday, my big pull that uh, I barely got this lamb out. Big, what are you anyway? Big boy. Out of her. She wants it. Anyways, so we have a new record. 17.4. So, you're a big baby too. Hmm? I'm all up to date with my records except for the set of twins that were born this morning and I realized I haven't even given you an update on where I'm sitting for numbers so so far I've had 170 lambs born out of 77 ewes so I'd have to do the math because math, math is hard for me so I did the math here quick and it's looking like 2.2 lambs per you so far Today is quiet. Uh, there has been really no, there's a you pawing down there, but other than that, it's been really quiet this morning, which is nice because I had to, I had to process. I had to record all those. Oh, I just finished feeding and I noticed that a you lambed. It's been quiet actually. She's like the first one since this morning at probably, I don't know, I saw it at four, so likely three. A little Suffolk. It's so nice when they just pop out and I don't have to hover. A bit up, a bit of a hover mother. Oh, hello. Already up and at it. Okay, I'm gonna move them. I got her moved and I checked her for milk because she's got lots of milk. I also checked her for another lamb, but I can't I can't feel anything, so she may or may not be done. It depends where that lamb is inside her. So I'm gonna le let these two be. It looks pretty quiet down there. Everybody's just eating. Hey. Are you stuck, sweet pea? <laughs> or are you just relaxing? I think you're stuck. There you go. There you go. Everybody's chilling. Okay, I got I have a little hack for my bottles now that they're all on milk and not on colostrum. Just grab the bottle. I take the bottle and I actually get it right out of the milk machine. I just take the, I take I, one of the extra lines, and just pinch it, and then I just look. Okay, so that's how I do it. It's a, a little bit of a hack, but this way the, the milk replacer is all measured out. I don't have to open a, a separate bag. And this way the temperature is exact. Temperature has to be right for, for mixing this stuff well. I'm gonna take this and go around to all these purple ones and just make sure they all are getting a drink. There's a lot of purple in here. This is hard to do with one hand. Okay, so right away, I noticed this lamb was stealing off another ewe. So I grabbed, I grabbed it and fed it, and sure enough, heck of a good drinker. I think she's drank. She's kind of fighting it a bit. So, let me see that neck. So they can kind of hold it up when they're not thinking about it. What are you saying? You're holding it up good. Yeah. It's holding it set up really nice now. Yeah. 
Is that mommy? Oh, it is. Is that mommy? Oh, that's mommy. Okay, this is hard to do. Okay, I got a couple of my quads. So I'm gonna take them and get them started on the machine because they're good drinkers. Hi, how are you? Are you sleepy? Okay, we're gonna go. You all done? <laughs> this is the one that got rejected this morning and it is doing really well. It's nice. It's good to get them on it right when they're hungry. So she drank a bottle this morning and now she's just giving her on this. She, he, he. You gotta, you gotta stay on it though, monkey. Maybe you don't Guys, just wait your turn. I'm glad you like it. Hi. You're so cute. Oh, goodness. You guys are distracting me. Got another one coming. Yep. <laughs> Proof that you come into the barn. Just to make sure you're alive. Yeah, well, that's true. You haven't seen me. Casualty of war. <laughs> I think she's gonna have another one. She just might move these guys back. Now she can concentrate. Yeah. She doesn't want me here. The water bag's just getting pushed out, but I'm gonna just walk up ahead so she thinks. So she thinks I'm not watching, but I'm gonna watch. Yep. Just watching her, because it's another one of those, the water bag hasn't broke yet again, and it's inside it. Yeah, push. It's a girl. It's in the water bag, and it's the head. I might have to go in there. I got her moved into the lambing pen. Now, she's full of milk. I'm a little bit concerned. I don't know if you can see the length of her teeth and the fact that her udder is quite large. So these lambs are tall 
I'm just hoping they know to get down and onto that tee. So I'm gonna have to keep a close eye on them. It is getting really cold. It's minus one right now in the inside the barn. So they need colostrum. She's a good mom, she's licking them off. So that part is good and they'll warm up, but they need to get that in their belly in the next two hours. Okay, so I didn't want to risk it because it's, too get, it's, it's just getting too cold. And there's three of them, so I just want to make sure. Look at this colostrum. So I, I took the milk right out of the ewe. It is insane. It is so thick that I could barely, I got 50 mils into all of them, but it is so thick. I'm just gonna pour it so you can see how thick it is. It's like, it's like, like Eagle Brand. Isn't that insane? It's the thickest colostrum I've ever seen. You want it? Kinsey liked it, kind of. <laughs> Maybe not. You didn't like that? Weirdo. Oh boy. Okay. Went to the house to warm up. Fell asleep on the couch for like 15 minutes and then checked my cameras and more babies. All right. I would think by the looks of that one, you're probably going to have more. So I moved that you in, so she's just bonding with it. I'm hoping she has another one, but we'll see. I'm just so happy these guys are drinking. <laughs> 